Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Testing on my new computer, I will probably be streaming very, very soon, uh, probably within the next hour or so for today, just to test this out. And I'll stream again probably tomorrow as well to end the week. Um, but yeah, I finally got my new computer back. Um, the old one, the video card pretty much overheated and it like died. So I can't get it fixed, but I've got all the data out, so it doesn't really matter anyways. So anyways, uh, I want to talk about my predictions for various like um, projects and uh, how they haven't changed. Like I'm talking about like VT88, ICX, you know, uh, BNB, you know, like XRP and stuff. Like I still think they can get to like BNB can get to two thousand, VT can get to a dollar. Because like people ask me this like every other day, like do your predictions change because the market has wobbled back and forth over the last two weeks? The answer is still no. I did a video like this about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. I feel like I have to do this again because I get this question so much like, and people are like, why haven't they changed? Because I don't think these are long-term effects. Yes, this whole green energy thing, cool, whatever. Um, maybe we'll finally get off Bitcoin, but I can continue to see strength in like the other coins. And the thing is, like, I do believe Bitcoin has a bottom. I don't really know what Bitcoin's bottom is. Like, I think like the, the lowest we've gone is about 31,000. That happened like, you know, three days into the dip. About a week later, it tried to go past, go below 31,000 again, and it didn't do that again. This is Memorial Day weekend. Long weekends are usually bad for Bitcoin. I mean, I wouldn't sell my Bitcoin, honestly, because we don't really know when it's actually going to pop up. There is really good news uh, on the forefront, like PayPal's uh, allowing like Bitcoin withdrawals. Um, the inflows to exchanges of Bitcoin have finally like reversed. But, you know, like it's very touch and go. It's actually really, really touch and go right now uh, because like people are actually scared of regulations and stuff. And, you know, like... Um, the SEC actually just has sued over uh, BitConnect right now. But if you're actually looking for my predictions for these coins, like the coins, the fundamentals themselves really haven't changed at all. Like all the top coins, whether it's Ethereum, I still think you can get to like 5,000 or more easily, perhaps even 10,000 uh, based on, you know, like Ethereum strength, especially with like more projects moving on to layer two. Polygon Matic, I'm still extremely bullish on, even though I don't think Uniswap's actually going to use Matic anymore. It doesn't really matter all that much to me. I still think uh, Matic can get to like $10. Um, I'm not going to talk about Doge because that's a different story. Like ADA, I still think you can reach like five, uh, five to $10 once like Gogan and everything comes out. And it's going to pump through all the summer, I bet. Um, XRP like depends on the lawsuit, but if a lawsuit resolves, you can see like a couple of dollars probably. Uh, Polkadot, same thing. Like they're launching their parachains. Uniswap, I'm actually really, really bullish on Uniswap uh, because... I'm actually still very, very bullish on Uniswap because um, they're actually finally getting onto layer two. They aren't using Matic like I had hoped. They're using Arbitrum, but as long as they're layer two, I think Uniswap has some really good um, headway into it. You know, Chainlink, you know, still 50, 60 bucks, probably more. LTC can easily reach a new all-time high. As soon as Bitcoin actually recovers, same thing with Solana, it's doing pretty well, and VeChain can still, I think, reach a dollar. So like all my predictions have not changed. Like the whole BTC green energy, Elon Musk stuff, like it, it doesn't really affect the long-term trend. Yes, it might like take like a month or two more to recover, but I can wait a month or two. Like I'm not a day trader. I'm not, a, I don't really swing trade all that much. I'm basically just holding right now. And unlike a lot of people, I don't check the prices every five minutes. It just doesn't make sense to me because it doesn't really help. Um, I've stopped, I stopped doing that like years ago. I check the prices a couple times a day, especially for the streams and do a bit of research and stuff. And that's about it. Um, in terms of like checking the prices, I'm much more interested in like uh, news that's actually coming out to see like if the, the crypto market's still going forward. Uh, I like the I like the stuff about the ETF. I think people are becoming more and more friendly to crypto. You know, the thing is, as other countries become more accepting, the U.S. kind of has to follow suit because like they the U.S. is very much integrated in the world economy, and the thing is like it does want to be in line with the rest of the economy as well. And there are like politicians in Congress, plus states like Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, and others. They really want to be in on the crypto gig. And I think Texas does too, because it does provide jobs in terms of like data centers, Bitcoin mining, and stuff like that. So it's going to come along. It might just take a while because there's like interest lodged against it, but there are more and more interests that are actually being lodged for it. So like all that stuff, I don't think the SEC stuff, like it's going to be scary maybe for like 
you know, the next year or so. But after that, I do think like it's going to start clearing up. And I, I hope like I think like eventually there's going to be more commissioners like Hester Pierce that are actually on the commission and they're going to be pretty pro crypto. And I think like even with like the president and the cabinet members, I think like they're going to get like polit political donations from, um, you know, like pro crypto advocates more and more now, especially since the big banks have actually started coming in. The big banks have a lot of money. And if they're actually deep in crypto, um, I think like they'll actually donate for more pro crypto regulations as well. Now it might be like pro bank, pro crypto, so it might lean into their side. But if you hold crypto right now, um, as long as they're like, as long as they're going for pro crypto regulations, even though if it is to benefit themselves, I think crypto will overall rise because they're they don't really want the price of their assets to actually drop. Plus, with Coinbase like IPOing, Kraken planning to IPO next year, uh, maybe Ripple IPOing depending on the outcome of the lawsuit. You know, I think all these things are going to play in, and like. You know, like later in the year, I do think it will definitely turn around. I mean, this drop has lasted a little bit longer than I thought. I think there's a lot of profit taking, but like the the report that there's like uh, flows of Bitcoin out of the exchanges gives me a lot of hope. I don't think this dump will last that much longer. So yeah, like my predictions have been delayed by a month or two, but overall for the end of the year, they have actually not changed. And those are the reasons why. So let me know what you think, like, subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.